Surgeons at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center are the first to use a flexible robot to perform head and neck surgery. The concept of flexible robotics is going to be the next revolution in surgical advancement in surgical science. Krista Kaufman was one of the first patients to be operated on with a flexible robot. She had a growth on the back of her tongue. Without this new tool, she would have had a large incision in her neck, which would involve reconstruction and a longer recovery. More rigid robots are better suited to work on the joints, the abdomen or the chest, where there can be more room. But in the head and neck, the structures are smaller, curvier, and flexibility is a distinct advantage. Tumors of the back of the tongue, of the tonsil, of even of the larynx or voice box region can be addressed with this flexible system. So how's your swallowing? Pretty good. Krista is glad surgeons were able to remove her growth with this new, less invasive technique. I thought it was cool. There's going to be a crater in the back of my throat for a little while. It's going to fill in and then everything's going to be pretty normal. Researchers say additional flexible robots are in the works that can be used for other surgeries. Dr. Maria Simbra, CBS News, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.